Shea Holbrook in her Compass 360 True Car Honda. I race cars for multiple reasons. My first reason is it's my passion. Shea Holbrook, she'll be a touring car regular this year. The first time I got behind a wheel of a race car was uh, back in 2007, the Richard Petty experience, and I just fell in love. I, I, for the first time, I felt like it was like a destiny. We are ready, the first standing start of 2012. Standing starts in World Challenge are really unique. It's like that butterfly sensation, but it's a good butterfly sensation. You're anxious, you're anxious to get rolling. Everything comes together when you dump the clutch and go. That's when you really feel like game on. I drive a Honda Civic Si in the touring car division of Pirelli World Challenge, and it's, for me, I love it. I love front wheel drive, I love naturally aspirated motors, and uh, I've been driving them for the past five and a half years, so if I had a specialty, this would definitely be it. How much do I depend on my crew? 99.9% .9 of the time, always. <laughs> they're not only kind of an ego booster for the race car driver, but they're the ones that do the majority of the work. <laughs> Has he been in the car the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> we have a guy laying in the car. <laughs> what I think a lot of outsiders see is they see the race car driver. And it's not just about the race car driver. It's about the, the whole team as a, a corporation. And I depend on them a ton um, for selfish reasons and for the fact that we got to get that race car on track and we have to perform because our ultimate goal is to win, of course. Ultimately, you know, I race cars to see myself on podium, and the best example I can give you is 2011, I won the Long Beach Grand Prix. For the first time, I felt like the most gratification I've ever felt in my life. I felt like everything just came together. All the pieces of the puzzle came together, but and then to see everybody's, you know, the crew's faces and to give them the reward because they've worked so unbelievably hard. This race is for my cousin Matthew Clapp, my cousin Matthew Clapp. Thank you so much, race fans. I think a lot of people look at it as it's all about winning, winning, winning. And sometimes winning doesn't always mean being up on the top of the podium. Um, Sometimes, you know, I do a lot of charity work, and for me, I can utilize my professional platform to help boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The nonprofit I work with is Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy. Um, so for me, that's why I say it's, it's winning means a hundred things to me. You know, if we didn't have fans, there wouldn't be races. Um, so in that regard, we need them. I do get asked often, how does it feel being a female race car driver. And uh, sometimes I don't know how to answer it because I didn't get into the sport for the, the, the reason of being the female race car driver because obviously it's a male dominated industry. I didn't get into it so that I could shine because I'm the chick. I got into it because it, beca it became my passion. I found, I found what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. There's nothing like the feeling of winning. And there's nothing like the feeling of winning in motorsports.